with WhatsApp Cloud API account and you're not able to send out template messages, chances are that your payment method is not linked correctly with your WhatsApp Cloud API account. From 1st April 2023, WhatsApp has made it mandatory for all WhatsApp Cloud API users to connect a valid payment method. So in this video, we will learn exactly how to do that very quickly. So for that, let's open developers.facebook.com in a new tab. Now click on My Apps menu on the top right. Now here on this page, click on the app that you use to create WhatsApp Cloud API. Now on the left side, go to the WhatsApp menu followed by Getting Started. After you wait for a few seconds, it's going to show an error. It is going to show you that a payment method is missing. Now you can add a payment method by clicking on add payment method button. You can click on payment settings button and add a valid payment method. In case you do not see the error message on the previous page, you can still access this page through another method. We will open business.facebook.com. Now here on the top left, there is a drop down menu. Select the business manager account which has access to your WhatsApp Cloud API. Click on the gear icon next to it. On this page, click on business settings. On the left menu, you will see an accounts option in which at the bottom you will see WhatsApp accounts. Click on WhatsApp accounts menu. As you click on this menu, you will see a list of connected WhatsApp accounts. Now select the WhatsApp account where you want to add the payment method. Here click on the settings tab. Now we've reached to the same page and we'll continue with adding our payment method. So click on payment settings. Now click on add payment method. Here you have to select your country and choose your currency and hit next. Click on next. We will add our card details here. Click on I agree and hit save. Now you should receive an OTP from your bank. Enter the OTP and confirm. Now in a few minutes your card should be verified. Alright, so our card is verified. Now we can add our business details in the fields provided. Now hit save. Okay, so the payment method has been added. We will double check everything. So we will go back to our meta app and we will hit reload. As you can see, the errors have been resolved and now you can send out template messages without any problem.